I uh, was sitting with Philip last night when he was working on this show, and I was watching the, the tape, and, and uh, it, it really broke my heart, and it, it really made me upset. It, it made me mad because I just kept saying over and over, you're not doing your job because when, when you gave birth to those children, when you gave birth to your babies, you created yourself a full-time job that day, a full-time job that would last for the rest of your life. Your job is to protect those babies, to nurture those babies, to keep them safe, and you're not doing that. You're not standing in the door of their home and keeping out the bullies and making sure that they are happy and feeling safe and warm and protected. Imagine how they feel every day when they wake up and they know that today's going to be just like every other day because there's not anyone in their life that's going to take care of them. And you're that person that they need. You're that person that they should be able to depend on. You're that person that they should be able to say, I have one person in my life, my mother, that will make sure no one bullies me, torments me, mistreats me, calls me names. She's always going to be there for me, and you're not doing that for them. Where would you be as a mother if anybody treated either of your boys in that way, and you have grandchildren now, if somebody was yelling or, or hurting Avery or <sighs> London? How would you feel about that? that? Well, first of all, that would absolutely never happen. I would never, ever allow anyone to ever take one step towards harming my children or my grandchildren. I would never, ever allow anyone to cause harm to my children or my grandchildren. What do you think the chances are that I would ever allow this man to speak to my children or to speak to me like mm -hmm. he speaks to your children or to you? What do you think the chances are? that I would let him speak to me that way. Never. Because men like him only treat people like that that are defenseless and that can't fight back <laughs> because they're just big schoolyard bullies. And they only treat people like that because there are other people who allow them to do it. And that would be people like you.